hello, 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 and welcome to the show. We are here today on Renee Speaks Golden Nuggets with our amazing guest. Our guest today is an absolute subject matter expert in all things strategy. So our guest has been a business owner and entrepreneur for over 20 years. And throughout her journey, she's experienced both highs and lows, as is common for any professional. But she recognizes that challenges will always arise, but so will opportunities that are too enticing to ignore. So the path of entrepreneurship can often feel like an endless stream with new obstacles uh, emerging each and every day. But with careful planning and strategic thinking, then any business has a chance at success. So in uh, our guest today is going to share her own venture and share with us the things that she's learned um, and how important it is to adapt to our ever-changing world. By keeping her business strategy, vision, and goals at the forefront, she remains on point and continues to move forward. Y'all join me in welcoming on Renee Speaks Golden Nuggets to continue the conversation Amber Sig. <laughs> Hello, Amber, and thank Hello. you so much for joining me on Renee Speaks and continuing the conversation over here on 100 TV Network at Renee Speaks Golden Nuggets, because this is a place where we get down into the, the, the deep and dirty, nitty gritty. Nitty gritty. Um, <laughs> um, how to make all of this work. Because before we were talking about, you know, you have to have a strategy, you have to have a brand, you have to have a budget. And, and those things are all great high level conversations. Yes. But as we dive a little bit deeper into the conversation, we have some other kinds of scenarios, if you will, of different things that we need to consider as we are building our businesses as entrepreneurs. So my first question, Amber, is what advice do you have for older entrepreneurs who may be looking to refine or reevaluate their existing business strategies to ensure that they remain competitive and continue to thrive? So my biggest advice for more seasoned entrepreneurs is don't be afraid of change. I find that with my more seasoned clients, that is something they struggle with quite consistently. Um, Mm. It is very overwhelming nowadays. I get it. AI is rolling out at a rate that is terrifying to people. Um, even some of my younger clients are a little <laughs> terrified at the rate that it's rolling out. Um, it's something else. It is. Um, you know, and I'm not saying you have to change everything. You don't. But because people do miss that personal touch and they do want that that personal connection again. And so I'm not saying you have to change everything, you know, but... There are some things that need to change and there are some things that need to adjust and don't be afraid of it. Um, you need to adapt in yeah. some cases. And so my biggest advice to the seasoned entrepreneur is don't be afraid of change and don't be afraid to learn new things. Um, right. You know, be open to it at least. Mm-hmm. Um and integrate it into things you're already doing. I'm not saying you have to change everything about your business. Learn new things. Learn ways to integrate it into things that you're already doing. Learn how to um, make a fluid system into uh, things that you already have in place. Process and procedures are essential to any company surviving. And so adapting those proper or those process and procedures um, on a regular basis with the new systems, with the new items that are coming out um, is going to be key to survival, you know? And so that can become overwhelming. I understand. (laughs) So that is something that we help people with, but, um, and they don't have to do everything. 
They, they don't have to do everything, you know, but right. um, systems are key and how you communicate with people is key and knowing where to make it more personal and knowing where to make it more technological is difficult for people at times, but um, you know, being, being willing to adapt to new things and learning new things, I would say is, is key. So I think that is so important that you, that those are so critical. Those are two very critical pieces not being afraid of change and learning to adapt quickly. Um, can you what, can you give us like some examples? Like if I'm, I, I'm, I'm going to consider myself one of these older entrepreneurs, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and so how do I integrate this new technology into system? So, you know, just as a hypothetical situation. So, well, I can even use my, my, my real situation. So I own a virtual assistant service. Mm -hmm. And we provide virtual administrative support to small businesses and, and senior level executives, as well as podcast production support. Right. So, but things are changing so fast, right. so fast. How do I incorporate all this newness into my current business? I'm going to get some free advice here. <laughs> no, no, no problem. <laughs> so um, definitely keeping your um, technological systems up to date so that you are able to give your clients the best access to portals to um, access their information as easily as possible. Um, and then training, training them on and making it as simple for them as possible, um, making that training simplified and making it in a format that they understand it and can um, I hate this word, but it's a it's a good word. Assimilate it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. I think of Star Trek when I say that word. <laughs> right, my grandma was a huge Trekkie. I watched it with her a lot. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you know, <laughs> you you have to be able to make it in a in a manner that they can retain it very quickly. Right. You know, right. so simple portals simple access to information, you know, because it is getting more complicated. It is getting more technological. Uh, they want it to be very simple, simple ways they can upload information to you, simple mm -hmm. ways that they can uh, access it and upload it to their systems. If you're doing that for them, they okay. still want to understand how you're doing it, you know? Right. Um, and so I would say, maybe pre-record some of the trainings for them so they can watch it at their leisure, whether it's in the evenings or weekends. Um, okay. You know, some people like it um, written with screenshots with big arrows. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so um, I would give different <laughs> options for training. Um, mm -hmm. So some people love videos, some people, you know, love to listen to it. Some people are very audio. Some people are very visual. Some people need to read it. So, mm -hmm. um, and some people need both. So right. I would right. give different options for that. Um, but I would say your client's portal in, in the case that you're giving this type of service mm -hmm. needs to be as user friendly as possible for them. Um, yeah. Because that's what they're going to be looking for from you is simplicity. So yeah. Because right. that's really what they're looking for when you're a VA is they want simplicity. So yeah. that's what I look for from my VA. <laughs> I just want to like throw it at her and be like, here, yeah, can like, here go do this. <laughs> can you do this for me? So, you like, yeah, of course I can. <laughs> you know, so like, can you take care of this, please? So, um, oh, okay. Yes. I love my portal with her. So. <laughs> well, that's awesome. I'm so glad that you are being taken care of that way and that you have, you know, it's contributing to work-life balance, you know, as a business owner, you know, that too is so important that you have a support system um, in that way to help lighten your load. So I am super, super, super happy that you have that. <clears throat> she's, she's great. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> So kind of further on to this um, uh, conversation about older entrepreneurs, how do you balance the wisdom and experience that's been gained over the years 
with the need to embrace innovative, cutting edge strategies to keep your business on point? You know, this is where I am starting to suggest that some of my older entrepreneurs maybe um, employ maybe a younger VA or Mm -hmm. maybe um, a younger entrepreneur employ an older VA. Um, This is where I'm suggesting that we maybe partner with someone who's older and wiser or younger and more technological because um, they need that balance between them. Um, You need to employ or partner up with somebody who is the yin to your yang, who has the strengths that you do not. Um, The yin to my yang. (laughs) Yes. So like, you know, it, it needs to be someone who can bring strengths to your company that you lack, you know, right. and so, um, and that, you know, again, like I said earlier, it needs to be someone who you can trust and partner with and make sure you protect yourself. But it, it needs to be someone who, in this case, it's not so much that you're partnering with someone, but that you're bringing someone on as a VA or as an employee, more in this case, who can mm-hmm. support you. Or as a coach who can support you and teach you some of these things, um, who, or just handle them, or just, or just handle them exactly. <laughs> um, That's one thing I, I have discovered. It's like I don't have to know everything. It's like somebody exactly. else knows about that. <laughs> they can do that, and I find <laughs> I that <laughs> exactly. And I do find that in a lot of entrepreneurs, they feel like they have to know everything. They feel like right. they have to know all the parts, and they don't. You just need team members that do, you know, know the other parts. And so whether that be a VA, whether that be a technological VA, whether that be, you know, um, a tech guru, as I like to call them, you know, Mm -hmm. who does your videos, who does your social media, who does whatever you have them doing for you. It just needs to be someone that you trust and communicates. Communication is key. They have to be able to communicate with you. So whoever you hire, they might be great at that skill, but you need to know they're going to communicate, communicate with you. So if they're not communicating with you, I don't care how good they are at their job. If they're not communicating with you and you don't know what's going on with your company, it it doesn't matter how good they are at it. Exactly. Because uh, you're, you're the owner. I mean, as the owner of the business, you need to know. Like, right. when you need to know, you need to know. <laughs> and so, definitely, communication is so key. And that's one of the things that kind of does drive me insane. Is like, I sent an email. Like, you know, I'm sure it was like 20 minutes ago. But still, I haven't heard anything. <laughs> I mean, and that's you got to lay the ground rules for like, if you hire somebody to do your social media and your videos, or if you bring in a coach to, to help guide you along, you know, or if you have a VA who's handling some of this stuff for you, you have to set the ground rules. How are you communicating? What do you expect with that communication? If you send an email out and and they're just going to take care of it, I expect my VA to just respond that, Hey, I received, I will handle it. Like, I just need to know she received it. I don't yeah. expect her to handle it in that 20 minutes, mm-hmm. but I need to know she got it, you know? Exactly. And so exactly. she writes back received so that I know mm-hmm. she got it, you know? Good. And that's good. Good for me. And then from there, I know she's going to handle it and communicate with me further, you know? Mm-hmm. And so set your ground rules. This is part of your process and procedures, you know, that you have mm-hmm. to have in place. And mm-hmm. communication is key. And you don't have to know everything but you got to know who you have in place and you got to communicate with them. That's That's right. And you trust them. You absolutely trust them. Um, And, you know, as you were talking about that, um, at the beginning you were talking about how we need to not be afraid of continuing to learn new things and, um, and that sort of thing. And I, and I agree, I could not agree more that we definitely need to continue to stay um, abreast of the latest things that are going on in the industry and 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 that sort of thing. Um, but in your opinion, what role do you think continuous learning plays in being able to 
unleash the full potential of the business through strategic planning and execution as it relates to industry trends? You know, I think when I say learning, so I don't want to confuse people. When I say you need to constantly be learning, what I mean by constantly learning is you don't have to learn every in and out of who you're hiring to do some of these jobs for you. So you need to be aware of AI. You need to be aware of what it can do. Mm -hmm. You need to be aware of what you hired that person to do for you with AI or with social media or with video. But you don't need to know exactly what it, every intricate part of it does. Like, you just, you need to know the main topics of what it takes care of, if that makes sense. Like, absolutely. so you need to know enough about it that you can competently have a conversation with the person that you hired to do what you need it to do for you. Mm -hmm. um, but do you need to understand how they made the entire video for you? No. <laughs> You know, <laughs> like, but do you need to have a competent conversation about how you want the video made? Yes. You know, um, so when I'm saying educate yourself, I'm saying educate yourself enough that you can have a competent conversation with your staff or with the people that you've employed, that um, makes sense. if that, that makes sense. sense. So I didn't mean to confuse Absolutely. people there. Um, oh, no, no, that's good. Um, you know, as far as educating yourself on your business, the parts that I think you need to educate yourself on deeply as an owner is how to manage your money, how to manage your budget, how to grow your budget, how to grow your business and the core of your business, mm -hmm. um, how to uh, brand yourself truly, not just the website and the logos people I can get into a whole hour long discussion on branding and we're not going to do that right now. But, <laughs> but it isn't what it is. <laughs> yes. Yes. But truly branding yourself and your brand is also you very, very much you, your reputation, right. how you present yourself, how you speak to people, what you promise, what you do, what you say. Um, yeah. Your brand is very much you in the entrepreneurial world. So, um, you know, so, and, and it's also who represents you. So you need to be very careful with who you attach yourself to. And mm -hmm. so that is very key in trusting people. And, and we got into that discussion in the last session was who you trust and who you attach yourself to. So when we were talking about, oh, a friend may want to work with you, but their friend might be a little flaky and flighty and doesn't necessarily want to sign an agreement, right. that is a huge red flag because mm -hmm. you are attaching yourself to that as a company. Right. Your company. Or have social medias posts yeah. that are all wild and crazy, drunken at the bar. Yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> the reputation you want. Yeah. So <laughs> you need to think about these things before you attach yourself to that. So, right. Um, right. you know, yeah. but a lot of people, as far as, as budgets and things think a budget is just okay this is incoming this is outgoing but do you know how to grow your budget enough to possibly hire another person or to take yourself to the next stage of where you want to be in in your business do you know how to get to that next level of where you'd like to be in your company and that again can be a whole hour discussion on its own too so these are the things that I think business owners need to deep dive educationally wise into. Um, and then I would surface educate on the things that you're hiring other people to do so you can have a confident conversation. So that's so smart. So wise. I love that advice that we can still refer to things as, you know, having our person who does our videos do the swirly thing, <laughs> you know, and that's okay. <laughs> but when I it comes to that, <laughs> right, <laughs> right. But when it comes to our business, we need to know the numbers. We need yes. to know how we're being represented as our brand and that the people who are representing us are in, consistent with what we want portrayed as our brand. Yeah. And you need to know what process, procedures, representation, 
um, what you want in place and what you want happening. You need to know if you're out of town that things are running the way you would want them ran. If you ended up in the hospital, that things are being ran the way you would want them ran. I mean, I don't mean to sound negative when I say those things, but I have had that happen. I, when I had my son, I had a huge amount of complications and if it weren't for my VA being the rock star that she is, Mm -hmm. things could have gone very South very fast, you know? Um, And luckily I had her in place and trained, but I know a lot of people don't. And these are things we have to think about when we are the owners of our own companies. You have to be sure the core elements of your business are structured and structured well. And then everyone else can do their job without you there, you know? Mm -hmm. So, and you can answer an email from a hospital bed. (laughs) Yes. yes. (laughs) From your phone. (laughs) Thank (laughs) you for those (laughs) great (laughs) officers. But yeah, but I totally get it though. And that is so true because, you know, I was in a similar situation. I didn't have a child, but. I actually had a a, a very um, life changing situation happened, and I was out of commission for like three weeks, you know, yeah, maybe even true. almost a month, even. And I was just like, I just could not even function. But my team was so fantastic. My clients were none the wiser that yeah. anything was going on with me because the team, they are rock stars, like <laughs> you're rock stars, rock stars all the way, completely held down the floor. And it was a truly, uh, a, and it was so relieving to yes. know that I didn't have to worry about that thing yes. or any of the clients because they were in great hands because they, they had the systems, they had the training, they know their our client. And so I didn't have to worry. And it was so um, it, liberating. I think it is, is that the word I'm looking yeah, for? Liberating is exactly <laughs> what I would call it. <laughs> you can exactly. sleep. <laughs> exactly. exactly. And I can know that I, I don't have to worry. I don't exactly. have to worry. So um, I know we're running out of time here and this has been so great. I mean, these golden nuggets truly, truly worth millions. I just appreciate you so much. Can you tell our golden nuggets audience how to reach you if they want to know more about how they can stay on point with their business strategies and brands and budgets and, and all the other things you do in coaching and counseling and all of that. How, 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 how can I reach you? Yeah, definitely. Um, all my social media platforms are at OP complete. Uh, my email is hello at OP complete and the website is OP complete.com, which stands for on point complete. So. <laughs> I love it. And if anyone wants to know, the rest of Amber's story, they're going to have to go over to Renee Speaks uh, and watch it on that platform. But it truly has been amazing just diving deep into these golden nuggets that, as um, you shared uh, uh, to elaborate on what we spoke about earlier. So thank you so much for your time today. Thank you so much for being a guest yeah, today. Yeah. Thank you so much for your words of wisdom, your golden nuggets and advice for all of us entrepreneurs just trying to make it down this journey. (laughs) Thank you for having me. I really enjoyed it. So It's been great. Thank you so much and have an awesome day. You too. Thank you so much.